Welcome to the lab, folks. So today we're going to do the third on our series of uh, Kit Week videos while I'm away on holidays. And I'm going to change things up a little bit. First of all, um, I'm choosing this kit beforehand because I really wanted to have a look at it. And uh, this kit is supposed to be a metal detector. I think it should be a fun little kit and uh, we'll see if it's any good at all. What I wanted to use it for, now I have stud finders, but sometimes I want to find the screws in the wall. I think that this might be good for doing that, I don't know. So it's a very, very simple circuit here. You've got this one big coil here, which is actually a double coil, both sides, which is etched right onto the PC board, it's pretty neat. And then we have the PC circuit itself here, <clears throat> which consists of uh, two transistors, two coils, a couple of capacitors, some resistors, three transistors. So an NPN and two PNPs and the speaker and LED, very simple circuit. So I think I can figure it out, do my best anyway. Uh, one of the ways I am going to change it up yeah, I'm going to cut out the musical montage. I don't know if, uh, if a lot of people appreciate that or not. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think for those who have seen my other kit builds and other uh, videos where I do one of those. But what I will do is I will, um, I will point out, like I will, re will record my build and I will point out uh, particular points in it by actually bringing those up as a part of the show. Uh, rather than showing you all, you know, me going through the paces really quickly doing this. Yeah, it does need an external power supply. What is that power supply? DC 3 to 5 volts. So I could use a uh, lithium battery on it. It'd be at the low end of the, the 3. But it's probably, it'd probably work a little bit beyond that range too. So, okay, got my iron all warmed up here. So I'm going to get right to this. And uh, if there's nothing interesting, I'll just summarize the build at the end, and then we'll we'll get to setting it up and trying to test it. I still got to think about how I'm going to do that. All right. Well, the switch shows here. Got a little notch on the pattern there, on the cell screen for the pattern, and I'm assuming that that's going to go with that notch here. But it being a switch, I can't see it making that much difference other than, you know, down might turn out to be off and up might turn out to be on. So I'm just going to put it in that way. Okay, overall, it was a really easy kit to build. I think the whole thing uh, took me, let's see what time it is now. Yeah, so the whole thing took me about 10 or 11 minutes. Uh, so I don't think it would give anybody a hard time. The only thing... I would be careful about is uh, the spacing of the leads on the transistors is a little close but as long as you use a fine tip iron that shouldn't be a problem take care but the rest of it is is really good and they they the holes for the components are ample they're about a full millimeter in diameter so if you did have to unsolder a component it'll work really well with a solder sucker there's lots of room there to get the solder out and resolder it so that should be a it should be a real easy simple kit for a beginner to build. Okay, so here we got power goes in here. Yeah, so three to five volts plus here minus here. Let's get that kind of connected up here. We got this little let's unclip the clip from there and screw these in. Also, uh, be careful how you put that terminal block in. It might be obvious to, to most people, but I have done it around backwards in the past by not paying attention, and it's just a hassle. I mean, just make sure that you have the the terminal side facing out because it's used, there's no no way to get anything in the other side. All right, so we got the switches up. That should be off. Let's connect up power to it and see what happens. Oop. Oh. 
So far, so good. Nothing's blowing up. And what happens if we turn it on? It makes a beep. Uh, I wonder if we have to adjust this to get it to stop beeping. Okay, so if you turn that down to there, huh, see, it actually seems to work. So it looks like where I have it adjusted, let's see if I can adjust it a little bit better. No, so just going off there with this screwdriver, let's see, make sure you can see this. You can hear that beep, so. You got about one centimeter or a half an inch for the people in Myanmar. Um, and that's, that's, that's gonna be great for, that'll actually find screws in drywall. Yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to give that a test today sometime. So yeah, uh, it, it works. It uh, does exactly what they say it does. And it gives you that, what I was hoping for, about a half an inch of sensitivity there, which would be wonderful for finding screws and drywall. All right. Um, yeah, so you can see here in the circuit here, now that this, this it looks like two coils, but they're, this is uh, like this is one coil. Uh, this whole thing here is one coil, and part of this is one coil as well. And uh, the actual the tap between them is only one additional turn. So if you go in like this here from there, then the other tap is right there. So I'd say ninety five percent, or maybe ninety percent of this coil is all on the one side. Be all on 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 uh, this side here, and then there's a very short side here, and I believe that that is just the oscillator. So he, this this here's the oscillator, and here's the amplifiers for it. So that's it. Very very simple circuit. Very very effective. No worries at all. So yeah, if this turns out to be um, if this turns out to be good, I'm wondering if it'll fit into one of my little cases. Hold on one second. Okay, one of these cases, it'd be nice to be able to build it in there. Will it actually fit between the sides? Ah, oh, doesn't quite fit. Doesn't quite fit. But you know, it might fit between here. Yes, it does. So it could fit, uh, just trim these down a little bit. And put it in like that. Mm. I think it's going to be a bit difficult to get it in there. That's a shame. Have to find a, a different case for it. But I think it's going to be actually going to be a handy tool. All right. There we have it. Nice little kit. I wonder how much it sounds. Is it any louder with that on there? No, it sounds about the same. Um, yeah, handy little kit. Thanks a lot for bearing with me uh, over my holidays. Uh, like I said, I'll be back doing regular kinds of stuff in, in a few days. Thanks for coming out and watching this. If you, if you like any of the stuff I do, please uh, hit subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And uh, let other people know about me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.